which keyword tags should you use in your Fiverr gigs, your Fiverr gig titles, and your Fiverr gig descriptions. Hey guys, it's Mike Nardi here. I'm putting out this video in response to a question I got in the comments of my last video that I posted last Friday. Akba asked if I could put out a video showing a screen share, showing Fiverr sellers that watch my channel how to pick the right keyword tags to use for their gigs. So first off, that's an awesome question and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. In this video, I'm gonna go through the process I take and give you some tips for how to pick the right keyword tags for your gigs, how to use those keyword tags in your gig titles, and how to use those keyword tags in your gig descriptions, as well as how to structure your gig descriptions so that they're hitting the mark every time. But first, if you're wondering why anyone would be curious about gig keyword tags, we're gonna take a step back and I'm gonna explain that to you. Keyword tags are super important for you to use to rank your gigs highly on Fiverr. So basically, if you're watching this video, you're either thinking about selling on Fiverr or already have gigs for sale on Fiverr. Part of the process of creating a gig is Fiverr will ask you to select four or five tags to include in your gig. Fiverr uses these tags so that when people search for services within the Fiverr search, they'll use those tags as an indicator of whether or not your gig is relevant to what buyers are looking for. So gig tags are very important. Also, ranking highly on Fiverr search is you know, factor a combination of gig tags, how you're using keywords in your title, the description all over your gig. So they're very important and that's why you should be watching this video if you don't already know. All right, so choosing your gig tags, how do you actually go about doing that? The short answer is there's a couple different ways, but in this video I'm gonna show you some steps that I take to get familiar with the tags I should be using for my gigs. So the first thing I do when starting this exercise is to just brainstorm and think of ways that I think people might use these gigs in conversation. You know, if I'm trying to sell resume writing services or logo creation or logo design or you know, voiceovers, I wanna to think to myself, when someone who needs a logo designed or when someone needs a voiceover, how do they bring that up in conversation? How do they talk about it? How do they name the service they want? Do they say, I need logo? Do they need, I need a logo designed? Probably. Do they say, I need a logo designer? Also, probably. So think about ways that people talk about uh, the services you wanna offer in person. Uh, this is gonna be really important because a big part of gig tags and keywords is not only picking the right keyword, but using that keyword properly in a way that sounds natural when you read it. So you wanna use that that thought exercise of thinking of how people actually talk about the services you want to offer uh, when deciding on your gig tags. So logo designers, you know, you would use something like logo design, logo creation, logo designer, or just logo. Uh, if you're creating resumes, resume writers, resume template, uh, resume builder, resume designer. If you're a copywriter like me, it could be as simple as saying copywriter, but then there's, you know, a whole number of different niches sales emails, business emails, website content, newsletters, blog posts. Think about the specifics of the service you wanna offer and use that to think of a one or two word keyword that people might search for when searching for that in Fiverr search. When doing keyword research for my Fiverr gigs, one of the first steps I take is I use Fiverr's search bar up here to figure out whether or not the keyword tags that I'm thinking about using are good. And you should do the same. So we'll use the keywords or the search terms that we outlined in step one just a moment ago, and we'll start typing them in the search bar to see what comes up. So we'll do resume, resume writing, professional resume, resume writer, and just look at the types of things that are popping up. Same thing goes for logo design. Oops. Logo design is the second one, right? So these auto-suggested search terms that Fiverr is showing you are a good indication that Fiverr thinks these are things you're probably gonna be looking at as a buyer, which also probably indicates that these are pretty good search terms to put in your gig, your, uh, use as gig tags, and to put in your gig title. It'll make sure that when someone's typing that in Fiverr search here, looking for a service to buy, there's a higher chance that they're gonna find your gig. All right, so the second step of this phase is to use the keywords that you've already decided on, actually run a search for that keyword or those keywords in Fiverr, and start to do some research on the top sellers that are coming up for those keywords. This is gonna be very important, I'll explain why. So you're gonna use the keywords that you've decided on in that last step, you know, the ones where you've 
use the Fiverr search to figure out what Fiverr is suggesting, and you're actually gonna search them. So once you search through them, you're gonna see who pops up, you know, who the top players that Fiverr is suggesting are. And what I'd recommend doing here is opening up a couple of the gigs that you think align with what you wanna offer and start reviewing them. Take a look at their gig descriptions. You know, they have a why me section. Look at, you know, any keywords they're using in here, logo, social media, stationery, web design. See what they did for their title. Do they have any tag keywords in their title? And then look what they offer in their different gig packages, right? So take a look at their whole gig. You can even look at their profile to see what other types of gigs they offer and try to replicate some of the themes you see going along uh, with these top sellers and use that in your gigs. Because if they're using this stuff to rank pretty highly, it means that you probably have a good chance of ranking higher as well if you follow the same best practices. The same goes here. You know, it seems like for logo design, you always want to have logo obviously in the title, but you can use complementary keyword tags like branding or business uh, to further, you know, push your your gig up the rankings, right? And same goes. So look at what where they're putting the keyword tags in their body, and then also decide on which ones you keep seeing popping up. You know, if you notice a couple different keyword tags or keyword phrases uh, popping up in a lot of different gigs that people on the first page of your search are using, you should consider using those as your official keyword tags uh, when building your gig. It'll give you a better chance of showing up on this first page when you type in something like logo design, business writer, resume writer, uh, you know, voice actor, whatever you decide you want to offer services in. Once you figure out that keyword tag, do a search, see what other people are doing and try to learn from that and incorporate that into your own gigs. All right, so you've figured out what tags you wanna use, you've decided on keywords, you've thought about how people use them uh, in conversation and what they might be searching for in Fiverr Search, and you've done some research to see what other top uh, sellers are using. Next is finding a way to use these keywords in your gig description and your gig title. The first thing that I'll mention, and I've been mentioning this already in this video, is to make sure that you're using your tag keywords in a way that is not overloading the description. You don't wanna just dump a bunch of keywords in the description in the hope that your gig is gonna rank highly. The reality of doing this is a lot of search engines, and I'm assuming Fiverr's included in this, will hurt you for that. They'll notice, they'll negatively rank your, your gig because they know that you're not actually adding value, you're just dumping keywords. Also, your buyers will notice. When a buyer is reading your description, they don't care to see a million keywords or tags popping up everywhere. They want to hear how you can help them. So figure out ways to use those uh, gig keyword tags in your gig description in a way that sounds natural. And I can show you a way to do that. So the way I do this is I break down every gig description for every gig I have into three general sections. The first section is about you. Why you, why now? The second section of a good description talks about you and the successes you've had. You gotta prove it to them that you know what you're doing and that you've done this before. And the third section is where you outline how you can help them, the value you're, they're gonna get from your gig and the things you're gonna do for them with this gig. I'm gonna flip over to a screen share right now and show you an example using one of my gigs. So here's an example of my most popular gig. I've done over 100 orders with this gig and it's rated five stars with over 90 reviews. So let's start with my gig title. I will write email marketing and sales emails for your business. Can you spot the keyword tags? If you're having a hard time, there's actually seven in this title. Email, marketing, email with marketing, sales, emails, sales emails, and business. But it reads pretty natural, which is the important part. Having it read naturally is so important. You don't want to just cram in all these keywords into a title or into your gig because Fiverr is going to notice and your buyers are going to notice and they're not going to appreciate it. Now let's scroll down and look at the description. Notice how it follows the structure I mentioned before with the three main sections. This is the first section, the why me and the who am I. You know, I talk about my past experience and where I've worked and reasons why my buyer should consider working with me. Down here, this is that section, second section I talked about. This talks about the fact that I've actually been successful with this type of service in my own career, in my own life. Basically that I've experienced doing this. This second section in the gig description is very important uh, to building trust with your buyers and will actually help you if written properly, incorporating both gig tags and also you know, just some candid information about yourself. It'll help you get more sales. 
And the third section is where I write about all the things that I can do for them with this gig, how it will benefit them, and some things that they should consider. It's very important. I've tried my best when writing these gig descriptions to use gig keywords as efficiently as possible. So I want them to be in here, but I don't want it to appear like they're overloaded with gig tags. So if you look at it, you know, email marketing, cold calling, email marketing, um, you know, sales is in here a lot, emails is in here a lot, product, marketing campaign. I've used a lot of relevant tags and a lot of the tags that I put in this description are actually, I've outlined them as tags when creating the gig. So this is super important to help your gig rank highly. So the tags you wanna use, you wanna use them as gig tags in your title and in your description. Having them in all three spots is very important. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that screenshot up for just a second so you can review my gig description. Try to figure out where I've used the keywords, where I've used certain search terms, and where I've used terms, keywords, and tags that are relevant to my gig, but not directly specific to my gig. Take a look and use this as a benchmark. It's not overkill what I did, but they're definitely there. And I think by now you've probably noticed that. So remember that when building your gig description, you wanna use keywords and tags in there, but you don't want it to sound like it was written by a robot. That's very important. All right, so that's all I have for you today. So just a quick summary of what I talked about in this video. I talked about how to pick tags, gig tag keywords, I call them, um, to use in your gig, your gig title and your gig description. The second thing I talked about was how to actually structure your gig description in a way that's gonna help you both sell your service and insert tags and relevant keywords to help you boost your, you know, your gig up to five rankings. And the third thing is how to actually use those gig tags and what's important to think about when using them in your um, service description. So that's all I have for you today. I hope this video was really helpful. Thanks again. Remember to comment and I'll make more videos like this, you know, related to what you want to see. Like and subscribe. Thanks again. Cheers.